Hello there, uh, back at you again with another video. Um, this time we're going to be talking about GoPro settings, um, or camera settings for streaming. Now, obviously your mileage is going to vary because it will depend on lighting and what have you. Um, but what I want to do is just do a small video showing my GoPro settings and what I use. Um, so right now, what I basically do, I have my GoPro configured so it sends video out, goes through a cam link that's connected to a USB 3 and obviously that does the video link back to the PC. Um, so as you can see on the main screen here, this is a GoPro Hero 5 Black. This basically shows that I have the GoPro set to 2.7K running at 60 frames. Field of view will vary depending on what I'm showing at the time. Sometimes I change the field view, but nine times out of 10, I'm using the medium. Now, what we'll do, we'll run through the main settings. So if you swipe right, that will give in, get you into the pro settings. So on the screen, swipe. Now, as you can see, simple really, color. I always leave mine set to GoPro. Now, for my live streams, because there's no editing or anything like that, I prefer using GoPro because it gives you better saturations. It gives you, it, it's closer to what I see on the screen to what you see as well. If I went for a flat color profile, that profile would really wash out the colors. And again, if I was, you know, recording it, editing it and uploading it, then yes, I can alter the colors and get the look I'm after, bang it out and there you go, you're done. But because we haven't got any of that, this is literally live streaming, I wanna try and get the best I can whilst I'm live streaming. White balance, we're gonna leave it auto. Again, it does a good enough job. The ISO is the critical one. For my usage, it varies upon the lighting, but averaging out at the 1200, sometimes I may drop it down to the 800 minimum. Shutter speed, um, I leave set to auto. Uh, the audio, not going to be using the audio from this, so I should turn it off. Sharpness, play around with it, either high or medium. Um, I've been toying with medium and quite enjoying the look from there. Um, and the EV compensation, um, usually at zero, I'm toying with you know, 0.5 at the moment, but usually it's set to zero. So those are your base settings there. Video stabilization turned off. Auto low light, we turn off. Manual audio control, again, turned off. So really, those are the main settings that we have when it comes to the Pro 2 signs of it. So that's basically a quick run through of my settings for the GoPro that I use for streaming. Hopefully, if you've got a GoPro, you can try and you know put these settings into yours. And again, this is more for the Hero 5 Black, how these would work on other GoPros, I would assume would be very similar. And again, a lot of this is gonna be based on your the brightness in the room, how much lighting you're using. Remember with me, because I'm streaming the game, um, most of the on-screen content is coming from the game, directly from the game to you. Um, the GoPro is just recording me and that's really a small window. Um, if it was more about me and seeing me, there would be a lot more lighting on me and therefore those settings would change. But because I don't really go on the camera, I'm a, shall we say I'm a little camera shy to say the least, but there's no need at the end of the day, the stream is about me gaming, not um, looking at me at the end of the day. There's just no need to, it's about the game. Um, so the, I've got no need to have big, huge lighting rigs because yes, I do have a light. It's an overhead light. It is simply just an LED light that hangs over a monitor. I'm lucky with the light because it's got five different level of brightness and it's got five different levels of tone to the LED light so I can make it whiter or creamier color. Um, I prefer to go on the whiter side and then I lower the brightness down to a level where it gives me acceptable lighting over the wheel. And that's all I need it for, literally just the light at the wheel because where it is in the corner of the room, it's pretty dark. So hopefully these will give you some good base settings to try out with your camera and your setup. 
and hopefully you enjoy. So if you've uh, found this useful, leave a like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.